Hi guys, it's PJ, and today I wanted to talk to you about some magical stuff. Okay, so one of the biggest comments I get from everybody is, my family is against winch witchcraft, winchcraft, winchcraft! Um, my family's against witchcraft, um, my husband's against witchcraft, my family is Christian, and I want to practice witchcraft, and I can't do it. And, I like, I see that all the time. Like, probably twice a week somebody says that. Somebody new is telling me this stuff. So, A, if you're talking that you're underage and um, you're still living at home with your parents, you kind of have to go by what they say. You can't just say, that's it. I don't care that you're paying for the roof over my head and this and that. I... Uh, I'm going to go against you and disrespect everything about you and become a witch today. You can't do that. You can't, kids. You just can't. So, my suggestion is for those people and those those eventual witches is that, um, you know, freedom comes when you're financially capable of taking care of yourself. So, you have to wait. But that doesn't mean they control what's in your mind, what's in your heart, what's in your soul. They can't control that. So, I, my biggest suggestion to you is to look for things that are quiet, that you can do on your own. You know, people that don't know anything about witchcraft always equate it with like devil worship. And um, the difference is huge, okay? With the devil worship, with devil worshiping and whatnot, you're basically the god. You know, you're you're taking on that role of deity yourself, and your ego is fed in a whole different way. But witchcraft is about like using nature and the earth, and and paganism is about a multitude of gods and goddesses that represent those things, and on and on. You can be whatever you want in your mind. Nobody can control how you think. They can control what you do because you are financially um, incapable of taking care of yourself and shouldn't. And you should respect your parents. If you're in a household and, and they are devout Christians, you know, learn what you can about that. That's another thing. Like, don't poo-poo other religions. So much of what I do is because I don't have a denomination. I'm not a certain kind of witch. I take things from Christianity and from Buddhism and from this and from Muslim and from that. And I create what I want because I believe that they are all the same oneness. Everything's one, okay? And I believe that if you're on a spiritual vibration or level, then you are the same as like a devout Christian. You just get there in a different way. And I don't care how you get there, just get there, okay? I don't care what it takes. Uh, prayer and meditation are pretty much the same thing. It's the same exact, when they, they've put, um, what are they called, the electrodes on the head, EEG, they've done EEGs of people when they were praying and when they were meditating, and the same portion of your brain lights up. So that should tell you something. It's just an alternate form of prayer. The word doesn't matter. The word prayer or meditation, does that matter? I could swap them and have the same meaning. So, my, my suggestion to you is that learn what you can about all things good. Take away from the judgmentalness. It doesn't matter. People are afraid of witchcraft. They, they've had years of bullshit in the media telling them witches do this or that. They don't know what they don't know. And if you need an altar or want an altar, go out to the woods. I had an altar in the woods when I was younger and it was my favorite altar because you know what? Everything was right there. And I said to myself, I wasn't going to take anything from the like material world in. I made that altar out of things I found in the woods and it was the most 
beautiful altar, okay? You know, nobody can control everything about you. So suck in what you can. Find out, like, if they're Christian, I just, you Jewish, whatever. Find out what makes that so special to them. You know, learn, learn. And then when you're old enough to leave, then you would absolutely just be more knowledgeable. And how much better is that? And this, and then introduce it slowly once you're free from that restraint. Introduce it to them slowly, little by little. People are much more likely to take a little bit and accept that than the whole kabang. You know, you walk in the house and you have like, you know, you've completely changed your dress and your makeup and you're like doing the part, you're going to scare the crap out of them. They're going to be looking like, you know, people used to think that about goth. Like kids that switch into goth, they're like, oh, they're devil people. No, it's just, uh, you know, it's like a creative form of something. And, and what you believe as a religion, that's so personal. So wait until you're old enough and then they can't take away what's in your mind, your heart or your soul. So do what you want to do that isn't oh, like obviously smacking them in the face because that's how they'll feel. Okay. Um, and you have to worry about their feelings. These are your parents. The other thing is you're supposed to re respect your parents on some level. So do not worry. Nobody in the witchy community will think less of you. You're young. You have a long time. Don't worry. It's coming. Your time will come. Little by little by little. You think I like walked into my house and said, well, it didn't really matter. My house, never mind about that. <laughs> um, two, if it's your husband that is creating the uh, problem with you being or practicing witchcraft in your home, again, or your wife, your partner, then they don't understand you very well. If you're an adult, and somebody's trying to stop you from choosing your religion, then that's a bigger problem in the relationship. Then there is a fundamental need for you to get things right with that partner because they're, they're always gonna wanna control things at that point. You have to come to terms with that yourself. And, and if it's something new you decided to pick up, I'm deciding, you know, you'd been a, let's say you'd been Jewish all your life and then you saw this and you really started getting this feel for the need to expand your horizons when it comes to uh, uh, witchcraft or religion or nature or whatever you want to do and somebody is trying to hinder you, um, you have to look at why. What's that, why is that control necessary? Because truthfully they shouldn't be able to control anything in your life again introduce it slowly most of people's reluctance to allow witchcraft around them is fear they've been told something they've been told something all their life all their life they've been told that w the media tells them you know look at the movies and the it just tells them how wrong or bad it is but in the long run, it's so similar to everything in any religion. There's rituals in every religion. There's there's mantras in religions. Our Father that art in heaven. Like, it's the same thing. It's like so similar. It comes from the same place. It's just that in my world, and this is totally me, it might, witchcraft might mean something completely different for you. But for me, witchcraft is about all of that it's about all of the other religions and how i believe they're all on an equal plane and that one is not better than the other they all take you to the same place so as long as you're getting to that place honestly what are people so flipped out about but they are they see it as juvenile they don't see it as as um a serious religion and i take that very seriously but my problem is I don't have a religion I'm not Wiccan or Wicca I love Wiccan stuff I love to practice different things in Wicca but I don't I don't 
that's not all I am. I'm a lot of things. So I'm, I'm very different that way. You can be whatever you want on that spectrum of... Oh, did you hear that? That was like a piece of paper just like flipped up, ran around and went down. Anyway, somebody's here with me. Hi! Is someone here? Yes, somebody's here. Anyway, um, my point being that it's a bigger conversation if a partner or something is trying to is trying to lay their religion on you. That's a bigger conversation. That that has to do with control. And once you're adult, you should be able to control whatever you want to think and whatever you want to do. But introduce it slowly. Try not to smack them in the face with it so much. Go little by little by little by little. And you don't really need to explain yourself. Like, if somebody walked in and said, what are you doing? It's like, whatever I want. Get it? So, uh, at that point, I would suggest counseling or something because he's gonna, she's gonna be controlling in anything you do because it's, you know, kind of your fundamental has to be free to be you. You have to be you. So, my suggestion is if you're too young, listen to your parents. Don't worry about it. Your time will come and nobody can control what you're thinking. There's always altars in the woods. I'm not trying to tell you to go hide. It's not that. It's that until you're free to do what you want, there's an alternative. You don't have to just say, oh, you know, I can't do it. You can slowly grow what's in your heart and your soul and your mind. With a relationship, it's different. I, I, I don't think you should go get divorced right away. But, but if somebody, if it were me and somebody was trying to control what I thought, that would be that. Like, I, I couldn't do it. But the, I'm a little different of a girl, as y'all know. Y'all know me. And, um, yeah, I couldn't allow somebody to tell me how to think on every, any level. But at the same time, I... I would introduce something very slowly, especially if it's new. If you didn't know about it in the first place and you didn't know it was in your soul in the first place, then give him time, give her time to get used to the idea. Because love conquers all when it comes, if it's real love, it won't matter. It won't matter what you want or what you think. They'll go along with it just to be happy and have you be happy. And ultimately, that's what we're all looking for is happiness, right? All right, guys, that's just a little advice on how to, you know, not disrupt everything. There's no need to break it all away. You can just add to it with beautiful things and show them. Oh, that's the other thing. And show them the beautiful side. You know, come in, make something out of nature for them. Show them things. Teach them the part of witchcraft that is so beautiful. I mean, I believe it's like the most beautiful part of my life like other than my children this is the most beautiful part of my life it's made me who I am it's created like this honesty in me that was so necessary and so yeah I love what I do and you will love what you do eventually and little by little by little everybody around me got used to it oh yeah she says they might think it's frivolous in their mind they might not, but I don't care what they think. I don't need them to validate me. And you don't need anybody to validate you either. N unnecessary. I know what it is to me. It doesn't really fucking matter what they think. It never did. And that's when you figure that out, you, it's like, whoop, you're free, you know? All right, guys. Good luck out there. I hope this helps all you guys that feel like you're tampered down. I don't, I don't like the idea of my little friends being like, being like controlled so nobody can control your mind do what you have to get financially stable and then little by little introduce the beauty that's in this stuff okay uh, introduce a mantra introduce like positive affirmation you know those things are way more acceptable 
and you can just build on that little by little by little. All right. I love you guys. If you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos, a thumbs down if you don't. Either way, you're watching me. Manifest something lovely in your life if you know it, think, believe it. You can have it too. Like a beautiful life that entails everybody you love and your favorite crux. Witchcraft. I love witchcraft. It's a beautiful thing.